Hey friend, Ellen here. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I've got another Notion video for you today. We are gonna be taking a look at how to build a synced menu inside of Notion. I've got three different designs to show you. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so as I mentioned inside of the intro, we are gonna be looking at some different ways to make a synced kind of global menu bar in Notion. I've got a few different styles here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and eh, let's just move. No matter where I put my face, it's in the way. We'll just move it up here. Um, but there's going to be three different ones that we're going to be creating. This first one is very much inspired by Thomas Frank Explains. It's great for burying databases or pages that you can inline on whatever the existing page is. Um, and all you would need to do to do that is to add a toggle. Um, and then you can just bury whatever you want to bury underneath here. Um, so if you maybe have pages that you don't want to necessarily show on the page, this is a great way to go ahead and do that. Um, but it's also just like a nice, simple menu. Absolutely. So that's going to be one of the first ones I'm going to show you how to make. The next one is inspired by better creating. I would say this one looks the best on mobile. I'm going to go ahead and try to put a kind of screenshot about what these other ones look like on mobile. The other ones, basically, they kind of end up looking a little bit more like a paragraph of links on mobile. So as you decide which of these you want to build, I think a big way to think about this is how do you use Notion more? Do you use Notion more on a desktop or do you use Notion more on your mobile? And if you use it on your mobile, I might recommend using this boxed one down here, this guy right here, which again, I'm going to show you how to build all of these. Um, and then last but not least, this one on the bottom is inspired by Tasha Creates. Um, I really find that this one looks really sleek. It's the one that I currently use inside of all of my templates and inside of my Notion database. Um, it looks really sleek and it's a great option for desktops. You'd also have the ability to add more of these if you use the smaller text option, which again, you just have to go up here to the three dots and then toggle smaller text on and off. I like to generally have the smaller text option on, but these are the three that we're going to look at creating right now. And I'm literally just going to do this down below on the bottom of this page. So let's go ahead and start with the top one, the one for Thomas Frank explains um, and how he kind of went about building this. Basically for all of these, every single one of these global menus is going to start off the same way. You're going to start off by doing slash sync, and then you're going to come down here and you're going to collect, uh, click on the synced block. Now, the reason why this is so helpful is because you can then copy and sync this block to any page inside of your Notion that you want to have this global menu on. So for this first one, again, it's very, very simple. We're going to just go ahead and we're going to type in quick links, or you could also call this menu if you wanted to call it menu, either or. And then anytime you have a page that you want to link from your Notion, you're just going to do at and then type in whatever the name of the page is. So maybe you want a link to your home page. Maybe you want a link to your main dashboard. Um, maybe you want a link to your habit tracker. So you can link any of the pages you would like inside of this. And you can see this is kind of uh, an example of one of the things that I had set up for mine. So I've got it linked to my goals page, my task manager, my reviews and reflections, my business kind of HQ, some of the biggest goals that I'm working on, but you can literally add anything in here you want to. Maybe you want to link it to particular areas inside of your database. So like my ultimate notion digital planner is set up so that I give you kind of a baseline, good example of different areas that you could have in your life. Um, and you could link any of those different areas in here. So you could link um, your health and fitness, you could link your personal growth. Um, and so so on and so forth, you could link literally, you can link literally anything inside of here that you want to link. So that's how you would make that first one is you literally just do the sync block, you put in whatever you want to call it, quick links menu, whatever, and then you start adding any of the pages that you want to add. Now, what I did do, you can see I have this little line divider in here. Um, you just do on a PC, you just do shift, and then it's the button that's literally right above enter. Shift, and it's got a line on top and the backslash on the bottom. And that's how I get this little up and down line here. And I find that a really, really nice way to separate the different links. So that is for the quick links option, which again, this is inspired by Thomas Frank Explains. And what he does inside of his is he will bury, uh, as I mentioned before, he'll just turn the list into a toggle and he'll often bury databases under it. 
No, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that on the actual linked block because whatever you bury underneath here is going to be copied to every single page. So, but that is something that if you did unsync it, that is something that you could very easily do. Just toggle the list and then bury pages or databases that are in line that you don't want to actually just show up on your page. You just bury them underneath there. Okay, the next one, as I mentioned, is from Better Creating. Let me go ahead and show you how to create this. So just like the last one, it's going to start off by doing slash sync and you're gonna select that sync blocks feature. But now for this one, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do slash, if you didn't see that I did slash for call. So flash for C-O-L. And that is going to end up giving you four different columns inside of this synced block. Now, the reason why this works really well for mobile is because on mobile, what it does is it takes these four synced blocks and it stacks them on top of each other, which is why this looks so good on mobile. And so now what we're going to go ahead and do from there is we are going to create a call out box inside of each of these four columns. Now, to get this aesthetic, what I do is I just go in and I select a default background color and then I go in and I select an icon. So for the actions, I'm going to want a check. I actually like this one a lot better. I've been using the circle one a lot, but I like that one a lot better. Um, and actually, just to save you from having to format it every time, what I actually might recommend you do is go in and duplicate the call up that you've just made and then just drag it over to the next um, to the next column. Um, and so this one I have personally in mind set up as biz slash coaching. So for business, let's just go ahead and do like a briefcase. They have recently updated these icons, so they look a little bit different. You can see that my icons that I'm using on the majority of my pages are not um, these icons. The icons that I use are from Icons 8, um, the iOS 16, I think, version. Um, but that's kind of why mine look a little bit different. So let's say that one is biz. Let me go ahead and type these in here. I also, to get kind of the aesthetic of my titles, I just put a space between each letter. Um, same thing here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this guy down. Um, and let's do our next block for tracking. Um, and for this one, I just kid did kind of like a table. So that's what that guy is. Um, and we'll call this tracking. Again, spaces between each letter, and then I bold it to just kind of have that nice consistent aesthetic. And then duplicate it one more time, pull it over to the final column. And then this one is called organizing. So I made the little folder icon here. And there we go. Oops, I forgot a space between the A and the N. Okay, there we go. And so now inside of each of these blocks, and again, you can put as few or as many different links inside of here as you want to. You're just going to do shift enter, and it keeps your list inside of the call out. If you had just clicked enter, it would go outside of the call out. But if you want to keep it inside of the call out, like I have here, you're going to do shift slash enter. And then just like above, you are going to go in and you're going to link to the different dashboards that you want to be synced inside of here. So for our actions, we have our task manager and our main dashboard. Let's just say, let's just do those two for now. And then for my business, let's link to my main dashboard and let's link to my content creation hub. There we go. So let's, we'll just keep it at two for everything for now. Um, and then for tracking, we're going to go ahead and do our, I actually think for this one, I am not going to link the habit tracker because I have the habit tracker on multiple pages. So we'll link my finances dashboard and we will link my reviews and reflections. Boom. So there we've got two there. And then for organizing, what I would probably link is I would probably link my, maybe my quick capture database because that is something I use frequently. And then maybe I would link my like all notes database. There we go. So maybe something like that. And again, you can put as many as you want here, or you can keep it nice and simple. Again, the more links that you have in here, part of the reason why I kind of shied away from using this, especially because I work on desktop so much, I don't use um, notion on my mobile, except to do a lot of quick capture and to like maybe look at my grocery list. Um, I didn't really like this one as much because it clearly takes up a lot more space than the other ones do. Like these ones are nice, simple lines. Oopsies, I didn't mean to click on that. 
these ones are nice kind of just one single line really and i really like that about these um and whereas the blocks one with the call outs just takes up a lot more space so it looks a lot better on mobile yes but it just takes up a little bit more space um last thing i will say about this is you could definitely make it so that this top thing is a call out so you could do at main dashboard up here instead of doing titles like i have that is perfectly okay but this is just definitely the one that if you work on mobile the most i might recommend this one for mobile because it's going to work probably a lot better okay Last but not least, let's go ahead and do this one that is inspired by Tasha Creates. This is, as I mentioned, the one I use. And this one is just like the other one's gonna start by creating a synced block. So once you've got that red outline around it, that's what we want. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna do hit the dash three times, one, two, three, and it makes this divider line. And I really like this divider line for really separating out, kind of giving a nice top and bottom to this menu. And so then just like we've been doing, let's go ahead and start adding the pages that we want to tag. So at main dashboard, really what this at symbol is doing is it is mentioning the page. That is really what we are doing here is we are just doing a quick mention of the page so that we can very, very easily tag the page that we want to tag inside of here. And we'll do Coach Ellen, so on and so forth. So then you can add as many or as few links inside of here as you want to. I'm just gonna copy the rest of the ones I have in here. And again, like I mentioned before, if you wanna have more links, you're gonna definitely need to toggle on the small text. If you wanna have fewer links, but you want your text to be a little bit bigger, you're gonna wanna toggle off the small text. And you can see that when I do that, what I have here like barely fits. Like I actually have a lot of stuff in mine. And as soon as I expand this menu over to the left, that's when I kind of start to lose the aesthetic of it. It starts to go into two lines, which I don't love, which is why I tend to keep this collapsed. And another reason why I tend to keep small text on, even when I have small text on, sometimes you can see it still goes down to the second line. So that's something to just think about is if you have too many links in here, um, and you like to have that left toolbar open, it's potentially going to force it down onto a second line. So probably the most you could have even with small text is probably gonna be like that many. And now you can still have your view, your, you can still have your global menu without, um, without having to condense down this left toolbar. So then the last thing we're gonna do inside of this one is we're gonna enter down to the next line and then hit that divider, the three dashes again. And there we go. Now we have our top and bottom divider. Now, if you want to integrate this global menu into, at any point inside of your Notion database, the last thing that you're gonna go ahead and do is you are gonna go in and you are going to click whichever one you want. So let's go ahead and copy and sync this guy. And then you're just going to paste it onto any of the pages that you want to add it to. So like, let's say I want to add it to my homepage. You can see I personally already have a toolbar there, but I could go in and I could add this to my homepage like so. If it only has two in it, I actually don't think it looks too bad. I just like the aesthetic of this one a little bit better. And then you just keep going. You copy and sync it. Let's say I want it on my main dashboard too. I just copy, hit the copy and sync and then paste it there. So anywhere inside of your Notion that you want this menu to show up, you're just gonna click inside it, copy and sync, and then paste it wherever you want it to go. So I hope that answers any questions about how to create a global menu inside of your Notion database. Um, and I hope these three different options give you a couple different aesthetic ways to do that. Again, top one is from Thomas Frank Explains, um, inspired by Thomas Frank Explains. Um, and again, it is great just for a nice, clean, simple, global menu. The second one is from Better Creating, which is probably the best option for mobile because it stacks really nicely on mobile. And then the last one is from Tasha Creates. And this is the one I'm currently using and I'm really, really enjoying using. So let me know in the comments below if you've got any questions. And as usual, if you're enjoying what you're watching here, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will see you next time in our next Notion video.